Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom profile for use as a reveal in a particular Revit project. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017 in the Recent Files window. I can click New under Families and scroll down to the Profiles section. Look for the one that says Profile-Reveal and hit open, open. What you get are two reference planes that are pinned down and Define Origins is checked. And what that means is that that intersection is the insertion point. You have text description for the wall to let you know, hey, that's the wall side. And so your reveal has to be inside, if you will, of the wall here. And the wall face is here. So I can go in here and I can draw the sketch of the profile that I want. So I'll click Create and use the Line tool. And I'll draw the shape that I need. We'll use uh, split, delete, inner segment. And then we'll flip this because I really want it on the other side. And then use the create and line command to finish the creation of that profile sketch. Now, this is the sketch and this is the profile that I want. Um, and it's going to go into this particular wall. So we're going to save this family. I'm going to call it custom profile for and reveal. We'll hit save. Now it's saved. How do I use it in a project? We'll start a new project. Architectural template is fine. Click OK. Let's use a standard wall command and go look at this wall in 3D. When you're working with the wall command, there is a wall reveal tool here. So if I click this, you can place a horizontal or a vertical. And they only give you one type to work with. So I'm going to place one horizontally, modify, and it's done. I'm going to do the reveal again and a vertical one. Click to place it, hit modify, and I'm done. Now I'm going to shade it so you can kind of see what you're building with. How do I take the custom one that I made earlier and use it in this situation. What I'll do is I'll toggle back to the family itself by using the control tab on the keyboard and I'll load it into the project. Now that it's loaded, I can go back and pick any one of those uh, reveals, if you will, and you know, let's switch this to hidden line so it's easy to see. And I'll pick this vertical one. It's called reveal, so let's go ahead and duplicate it. We'll call it Reveal 2 or Custom Reveal. And now that you've done this, under Profile, you can click and choose the one that you loaded into earlier. Now remember, if you don't load it first, then it's not going to show up in this list. So you need to make sure you load that profile before you go into here. If you don't, when you look at this list, it doesn't show and it only gives you the default ones. We'll click OK, and now you can see it's being used. So let's pick this horizontal one and switch it to reveal custom. And now you can see that it looks like this. Let's head over to a um, very sharp side view. So that very, very shallow looking reveal that I created. Um, kind of think of this as a reverse um, wainscoting or something. Uh, lastly, with the reveals, by the way, when you select it, you can click and pull these little dots that control the position of the start and the end. And if you can get really fancy, you can actually turn this into, let's say, for example, a cross that's in the wall for a church. And so this is how you use and create a custom profile to act as a reveal within a Revit project. Uh, and let's switch this again. It's a little hard to see. We'll switch it to hidden line. And, um, and that's how you do it. Uh, if you need to modify it after the fact, just go back to the family and make adjustments. So I need it to be a little deeper. So let's go ahead and grab these three and we'll pull it out to say here. And we'll grab this and we'll pull it up. 
see how that affects it. And you know what? Let's delete this. And let's mirror this. Oh, I forgot the little sliver. Let's mirror this one as well. And we'll zoom in here. No, I don't like that. Let's clean that up altogether. So let's delete that. A lot of times, too, when you're working with creating a custom profile reveal, um, sometimes it's easier to just work with half of it, if you will. Like that. And we will split, not deleting inner segment. We'll just cut it right there and cut it there. And we'll delete this portion. Then we can just take this and mirror this. And then lastly, trim this up. Or you could have mirrored this vertical line as well. We'll save it, load it back into the project, and override. Now, if it gives you an error, it's because uh, the family itself is either too deep or something's going on with the sketch. So let's just clean it up again a little bit further. And delete this. And trim to corner this. Finish it, save it, load it into the project, and override. Now that we've done this and go to the 3D view, you can see that profile has been updated. So there's that shape. And that's it. That's how you create a custom profile for uses as a reveal in a new Revit project. Thank you very much for watching.